just when I think I'm free to do Camaro content, something happens and the lithium ion battery space to just bring me back in. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Frederickstown, Missouri, October 30th, a 225,000 square foot lithium ion battery recycling facility owned by a company called Critical Mineral Recovery. Surprisingly enough, catches fire. So the fire at this facility produced a plume of toxic smoke that prompted evacuation orders downwind of the fire and shelter in place orders in other areas which seem to contradict each other if you ask me but bad enough for the EPA to have come on site and continue to monitor for uh, particulates and other crap in the air since this fire. No injuries reported. The official cause of the fire is still under investigation. I cannot wait to hear the spin they're going to put on that report especially since a company lawyer Albert Watkins has already made a statement that said, among other things, while the cause of the fire is still unknown, it did involve lithium-ion batteries. Now, a fact that I find of particular interest is the company website mysteriously went offline shortly after this fire, but um, some media outlets were able to get some information, I think probably from the uh, Internet Archive, the Wayback Machine. I tried to use it, and I, while I saw there were archive dates, for this site, I couldn't get any information to come up for whatever reason, but the site makes fantastical claims that this is one of the largest facilities of its kind in the world, capable of processing 60,000 tons of lithium ion batteries. Now, is that per day, per month? Don't know, doesn't say. It also boasts of an incredibly advanced fire detection and safety system using thermal imaging technology. Now, the lawyer also said in so many words that without this advanced fire detection and safety system, it could have been worse. And then things got worse. Boom! I got it. Quote, this was handled in textbook fashion. As a result, there were no injuries or fatalities. Good on them for that. But three days or so later, Thousands of dead fish started washing up on shore downriver of this fire uh, with a foamy substance sitting on top of the water where the fish all died. And the speculation is, without the test results having come back, it said it's probably runoff from fighting the fire. Ooh, and about the fighting of this fire. The facility did have a fire suppression system to go along with this advanced fire detection and safety system. Spared no expense. And even had a large vessel on site to be used to help in these type of emergency situations. That being said, with all of that foresight in place, Mayor Travis Parker of Frederickstown said that there still wasn't enough water for them to fight this fire, so they had to keep trucking it in from the town water system. Now, in that same statement, when the lawyer is massaging the ball sack of the company's foresight with their highly advanced fire detection and safety system, we spared no expense. Their water vessel, their fire suppression system, and everything else. The facility is still a total loss, and the 75 high-paying jobs are gone with it. Will they rebuild? Don't know. Would Frederickstown want them to rebuild? Don't know. I mean, look, the recyclability of lithium-ion batteries is one of the big selling points of the whole EV net-zero dream. When a battery reaches the end of its useful life, it's supposed to just be able to go back into the supply chain to live again in another EV. And that looks fantastic on paper. But to achieve this sustainability potential that they all want us to believe, that would mean the recycling industry we need to scale up accordingly as we move to the target 2035 transition year. And that means these recycling centers, big like the one that just burned to the ground, or little small mom and pop shops that probably won't be equipped with advanced fire safety detection systems, would have to pop up pretty much on every street corner. And every time one of these places burns to the ground, 
that sustainability in the supply chain takes a hit. Right now, 60,000 tons of lithium ion battery material aren't making it back into the supply chain. And as this industry has to scale up, the frequency and danger of incidents like this also, by definition, must go up. In 2022, there were 390 reported fires at waste and recycling installations in USA and Canada, which produced 56 injuries and two deaths. And it's a pretty good bet the high majority of these places didn't have such advanced fire safety and detection systems. Now I can hear the anti-dead dinosaur keyboard warriors already cracking their knuckles and getting ready to unload in the comments. Ooh, you know, there's fire and oil facilities too. Yes. Yes, there are. Some of them are bad. I think uh, Glendale, I don't know if it's California, Glendale, Arizona, somewhere there was a vegetable oil recycling facility that burned to the ground and took a good part of a city block with it. Yes, you're messing with stuff like this. It's going to happen. But looking at this, in my opinion, from what I can see, the safety record for the lithium-ion battery recycling industry in the last 10 years has already gotten to be as bad as oil recycling has gotten to be in the last 100. So the recycling process for lithium-ion batteries is first, very expensive. That's why there is such a deficit in the number of batteries that get need to be recycled versus the number of batteries that actually are recycled. There's no money in it right now because it's so expensive and it's extremely dangerous. Discharging the battery so they can be shredded up and everything separated out doesn't render the battery inert. Fires can still happen. Case in point. And then things got worse. Boom! And in my opinion, if there aren't significant discoveries that lead to significant advancements that are going to curtail these dangers, then the sustainability promised by the recycling pipe dream the industry keeps trying to shove down our fucking throats is going to turn into a flaming nightmare bigger than the one we already have. But that's just what I think. I want to know what you think. Let me know in a comment below. Until next time, I'm JR, and I am out. It's at no expense. <laughs>